Today, I'm going to show you how to combine your Shopify sales data with your Google Analytics traffic source data. So that way you can see uh, what sources of traffic are uh, driving each individual order in Shopify. That'll let you see uh, which sources of traffic bring in the most revenue, which sources of traffic have the most returning customers, lots of good stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive in. Uh, first, it's worth noting that you are going to need to have Google Analytics Enhanced E-Commerce set up on your Shopify store. To do that, you would go to Preferences and scroll down. Here's your enter in your Google Analytics account and make sure you have use enhanced e-commerce checked. Make sure you also set that up in your Google Analytics property, right? Uh, most people do that by default, um, but uh, if you don't, you're gonna need to wait a couple of days for some data to actually show up in Google Analytics. Cool. Uh, so once we've set up Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce, uh, all we have to do to make this spreadsheet work is download our Shopify orders. So go to Shopify, export, uh, export all your orders as a plain CSV file, and Shopify is gonna email it to you. Uh, it might take a few minutes if you have a lot of orders. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is copy this template. So you're gonna go here and go file, make a copy, and name it something interesting, like my store. All right, and you should have edit permissions to the copied uh, the copied spreadsheet. And now, uh, now that we've got our Shopify export, our Shopify orders exported to a CSV file, we're going to click on this, uh, the, the, make sure we we're clicked on the orders export sheet here of our spreadsheet and go import, upload, and select the CSV file that you just exported from Shopify. Cool. And then you're going to replace the current sheet. Make sure you click that and go import data. And just like that, it will update this sheet with your actual Shopify data. For whatever reason, uh, Shopify, when it exports the CSV, it duplicates the first order. So you can just delete that. Cool. All right, good. Now we have our Shopify data uh, in the spreadsheet. Now we just need to get our Google Analytics data in here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the, uh, the GA transactions sheet here, and then you're going to click on the link in the comments to add this custom report to your Google Analytics property. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward. Once you have that, you'll see here that it will show uh, transaction IDs. And what we're going to do is the transaction ID matches the order number from Shopify. And that's how this spreadsheet works. So once we have that, all we got to do is add the source, medium, campaign, and landing page. That should all be there just as part of this custom report. <clears throat> and all you have to do is select the date range. So go back as far as you have data in Google Analytics and click export, export it to a CSV file and name it something like GA transactions, just like that and hit save. Okay, and now we're just going to import that data directly into this spreadsheet, just like we did with the Shopify data. So go upload, go here, go GA transactions, open, and we're going to replace the current sheet. Make sure you click that. All right, and now we don't need this first information, so just delete the first six rows here, like that. And that's it. It should update this spreadsheet with your actual uh, Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce data along with the source, medium, campaign, and landing page is now associated with all of your Shopify order data. Um, so uh, a couple of things to note, uh, some Shopify orders will not be in Google Analytics. There's just nothing we can do about that. And if you didn't have Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce set up, um, 
nothing is tracked there, right? Uh, so that's what this means for the first two orders here. I didn't have Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce set up, so they're just not in there, right? Um, but everything else, uh, if it's in Google Analytics, it should show up in this spreadsheet. Um, you can use this spreadsheet to associate, you know, returning customers with their traffic sources. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more uh, interesting source information than I do here. This is just a dummy website, so all of the traffic is uh, direct, but you'll have Facebook, you'll have your Facebook campaigns, you'll have your Google uh, Google search campaigns, all of that should be in here. Um, so I hope you find this useful, and uh, if you do, please like the video. Thanks.